I'm going to show you how to do four projects with uh, just chain stitch. The first one is a bookmark. Just use that. That. The second one is a bracelet. I'll show you right here. The third one is a necklace. So I've got that right here. It's got a jump ring and that connector there. And the fourth one is a flower. And I'll show you what I did with those. The several that I made. I put them on a purse to decorate them. Okay, so first one is the bookmark. And what I did with the one that I just showed you is I used an earring that I uh, never wore. It has this little hoop in it and I wore a uh, and I used uh, floss, embroidery floss, but for, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to do this with a little bigger, a um, keychain and um, just regular yarn. Now, um, if you have, so I'm doing with a bigger hook. Okay, so you make your slip stitch and when you start this, I'm going to use my first chain. I'm going to put it through the keychain there. I'm going to hook it and I'm going to go through. So now that's locked in. I'm going to make my keychain just as long as you would like it to be. Now the embroidery floss makes it a little thinner. So in the book, you can. Um, might close a little bit easier than using this, but you could use regular one. It's a great project for scraps. So you just make it as long as you want. Now if you've got a hoop, uh, like I do here, that this won't fit through, you can just use this and tie it off in there, rather than, and then um, go ahead and uh, weave it in to the bookmark. So that's one. The second one is, um, the bracelet. Now again, I used embroidery floss. I like embroidery floss because for little projects, there's so many different colors that you can use. The problem with that, if you're first starting, is it splits because it's made to be taken apart if you need to, but it's not really that difficult to deal with. Okay, so there are three lengths of um, chain stitch that I did, and I kept a couple inches on the end. So what you want to do is match them up as best you can and then go ahead and make a knot with all three of them. And try to keep that as close to the chain stitch as you can. Okay, so those are all like that. Then tape it or if you're doing this on a couch or something like that you can just use a safety pin and put it in the couch. Then all I did with these is braid them. So, and if you want to, you can use a jump ring and, uh, you know, connect it that way if you want to take it on and off, or you can just tie it off at the ends, you know, maybe trim it after you tie it off and just kind of like a friendship bracelet that you would wear for a couple days and then just cut off. Okay, so that looks kind of cute with even the bulkier yarn. You could use this and the bulkier yarn you can make big long links and use even bulkier yarn than this and you could have a, um, a belt if you wanted to. Okay, so that's the second project. The third project is a necklace. And that's basically the same as the um, bookmark. So what I did, you'll just want to figure out where your halfway point is. So again, I used embroidery floss, so I locked in the jump ring just like I did with the bookmark made it the length that I wanted to, and then again I used a, um, this is an earring that I lost the pair to, but I like it, so it's nice to use it in another project. Made this the equal length of this other one, then I put the 
connector here, the claw, and so you can use that over and over again. And you're using up some scraps and you're using up your earring that you no longer use or whatever you've got around. Or a charm or something. Now, the next project is a flower. So this is what it looks like done. So you'll want to make a chain of one, two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch. So you go into that first one, slip stitch, bring it through. And I think this is a good time to catch this tail here, and then so you don't have to weave it in at the end. And you're gonna make eight, one, two, three, four, now my tail's wo woven in, five, six, seven, eight. Now all that you do, put it through the circle here, catch it, you've got one petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, and you go in the circle again, and you catch it, you got two loops. So you'll go around and you'll make six loops, and then you'll just do another slip stitch and connect it to this, um, connect it right by the last, the first one you made and the last one you made, and then you'll have this flower. Obviously, you can do this to embellish anything. You can make it, you can kind of stiffen it with some glue, like diluted glue, and you can make yourself an earring. You can put it on jeans or, you know, put pillowcase, and as I showed you before, I put it on a purse. So those are my four projects, just using chain stitch. Great for scraps, or if you're just learning and you're kind of trying to just figure out tension and, and but you know how to do the chain stitch. So um, those are my projects. Thank you.